Hello friends, Tony here. So in the previous video we created this uh, dependent dropdown with a live wire version 3. We can tell it and we can select a country and based on that country we have the states. And based on this state when we select we want to show the city cities belong to that state. Okay, now if I open the VS code and let's open the dependent dropdown blade. As you can see here, we have this H1, okay, and then we have this div with the class margin top 3 and the label for country with the same classes. Also, we have a select with also same classes for uh, states and city. And what I want to do in this video is to refactor this one. So I'm going to create a component, I'm going to create a live wire component and move this to that component and reuse that component for country, state and city. Because here we have uh, too much code and this is a reputation so we have this class for same uh, state, city and country, the label the same and also this div and the select. So let's do that. Let's uh, open the terminal and let's say artisan make Golden live wire and the name. I'm going to name it a select option, or you can say what you like. And now let's. I'm going to copy the first one, which is for the country or cut, maybe. And now open the component. So let's select blade, select option, and move this logic here. Save the intent. What we need to make here is first I'm going to remove this for here. And because we are going to reuse these four states and city, we need uh, here to say dollar sign name. And I'm going to get this name when we inject the component on the parent. So when you say um, library component, I'm going to add a name and that name we are going to display here. But also we need not countries here because we are going to reuse for state and cities and what I'm going to do I'm going to say options and also as a single option and let's copy this and paste it also here and here and maybe also here let's say dollar sign name so choose country or choose state or choose a city good now we need to open the uh, class, the select option class and create the options property and name property. Okay, so let's do that. Let's open the select option class and create a public property for the name. So dollar sign name and public property for the options. Good. Now, as I told you, when we are going to inject the component, we're going to add here the name and also the options, which is going to be, uh, for example, states or countries or cities. So let's say here, method mount. So when we mount this component, we're going to receive the name and also the options. Now I'm not going to say it's going to be an array here. Just what I want is to say here dollar sign this name or this option to be equal with the options we get and also dollar sign this name to be equal with the name we inject. Good. Now let's save and let's use that component in here. So let's say live wire color to the name of the component which is select option and we need to specify the name now because the name is uh, not uh, dynamic we are going to say just name like this and say uh, country for this one because it's for country and colon options and say dollar sign countries and let's close this, self-close, save and come here and refresh. Yeah, and we can see we have this choose country, but if we choose a country and it's not going to show the states because 
on the select option we say select country but we don't have this selected uh, country in the select option here and if you go to livewire documentation nesting components we can see here we have binding to child uh, and maybe let's zoom it a little bit so binding the child data using a wire model let's click here and i'm going to scroll down so here we have a to-do list and then in that to-do list blade we inject the to-do input and we say a wire model to do okay and then in the to-do class we created a public value property and we make this model label we added a model label attribute and then in the blade of the of this component we say wire model value this value now is going to represent the wire model to do in the parent okay so let's show you in this one because here we use the, this uh, wire model like selected country we're going to copy this and here when we inject we are going to say wire model the selected country say then in the class of this comp uh, child component we are going to create and let me just copy from here so i'm going to copy this and paste it here we need to import the model label attribute from the live wires uh, live wire attributes model label and now this value is going to be in here which is going to represent so this value is going to represent the selected country and this value we are, we are going to use also for the states a selected state okay but let's see now if it's going to work or not so if i come here and refresh and let's choose a country nothing is going to change because here we need to say dot live and now if i refresh choose a country now it's going to show the state very good so we added we injected the component we specify the country name and options which is countries and also we added the wire model live selected country okay so here we have a select wire model live selected state and we have states here uh, options and here we have the name state okay so let's use now this one also for the states i'm going to copy this and replace this code with this one change the name from the country to be a state options now is going to be states and wire model live is going to be selected state okay and we're okay because here we name the value and here also we say value now if i come here and refresh choose a country and here we have a state and yeah we have cities belong to this state now what if i choose uh, united kingdom so let's scroll down over united states but i'm going to choose united kingdom and let's choose for example uh, london okay so we have this city why we have this city because uh, if i choose something else so let's say for example uh, manchester we have this one as well it's not going to update the cities and why is that also if i change here to united states we have the uh, united kingdom states okay so if i choose a country to united states and the states is going to be and why is that because here when we update the selected country we render this uh, component but we pass the component as uh, the options as states here so let me just demonstrate to you i'm going to say here uh, Diane 
or just dump or dying dump dump dollar sign states okay let's save I'm here and refresh Albania here and here we have the dump of states and we can see we have a uh, name of the state which is Berat and with country ID and ID and so on what if I change now from uh, Albania to Afghanistan again as you can see the states where I dump is changed but if I come here and see the states we have passed to the child is not updated and why is that because if we go also here to the documentation and we have learned this reactive props we can we need to use reactive not all by default are reactive all the properties okay so we need to if we want to make reactive we need to add the reactive attribute in the options so here for the options we need to add a reactive we need to make them reactive and now if i save and let's go and try one more time and let's remove also this down from here we don't need it anymore come here and refresh now i'm going to choose afghanistan here choose a state and choose a city okay i'm going to now ch change back to albania as you can see it's updating the state to albanias and also the city the same thing very good so this is how we can refactor you know reuse uh, child and parent component so now let's do the same for the city let's copy this and paste it right here change this to be a city option to be cities and we don't need a wire model here because we have we don't have a wire model for the selected city and i think in the selected option the value is uh, not empty string i'm going to make this null okay and we are again if i refresh and where is this and if and if is in here and refresh okay choose a country a state and a city update the country to albania is going to close the cities and is going to leave only the states which belong to the Albania country. And then, if we choose a state, it's going to show the cities belong to that state. Of course, if I choose something else, so that's where is Tiran here. Now we have the cities belong to the state again. Okay, friends, that's it all about uh, this video how we can uh, refactor the dependent drop down to something like this so we have reused this live wire select option for the countries uh, states and cities and here we don't add the wire model so we learn also how we can use the how we can add a wire model in the child component and uh, one more thing with uh, Laravel latest uh, 10.34 I think here just to be sure that the these options are instances of a uh, country state and cities we can say dollar sign this options ensure okay so ensure is the insta is instance of a country class or a state class or a city class okay now if i come here and refresh choose choose everything works but if i remove this from city this is a city class and when we select a city that is going to be instance of city class but here we don't add that 
what is going to is going to throw an error so let's show you let's choose albania berat and now yeah we have a collection should only include a country or state items but a city uh, item found okay so we have city again back in place and refresh and now if we choose everything what we want and we are sure that the options is either uh, countries or states or cities good friends that's it all about uh, this video i hope you enjoy and don't forget if you like such a video subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best